Hi, my name is Angie Hike with E4D University, and this is the Design Center from End to End. The first thing is on the setup page, we create a patient. Then we click Start New Restoration. You select the tooth number, the restoration type, the library, material, and shade. Then we click on the Scan tab. To scan our preparation, we do the standard 9 scan pattern. As the scans are taken, a computer model appears and adds each scan to the model. Thumbnails can be seen of each individual scan. There are colors within the thumbnails to help you see how much data was captured in each scan. Watch as the model builds to make sure that each scan that is added is being added to the right place and is not misaligned. After the nine scans are taken, the model finishes building. Then we can click on the occlusal arrow to center it on screen. Next, we will click on Scan Bite Registration. As we scan our bite, we want to make sure that we have enough proximal data so that it can be aligned to the preparation scans. As you can see, we only took occlusal shots of the bite registration. Click Select Bite Area and circle the functional portion of the bite registration. We do not want to include any of the non-functional portions. Next we proceed to the Margin tab. Here we set the orientation of the model to ensure that the mesial and distal buccal and lingual of the preparation are all in good alignment. This will aid in the autogenesis, which is our automatic design of the restoration. Draw the margin and evaluate for any needed adjustments. Once we are happy with our margin, we proceed to the design tab. Autogenesis automatically creates a proposal taking into account the data from the proximal teeth. It aligns the cusp heights, the marginal ridges, and the occlusal data from the bite registration. Now we can rotate the model to view the restoration and make any desired design changes. The rubber tooth tool allows us to stretch the proposal as if it's made of rubber into the desired shape. We can click View Bite Registration to see how the proposal is interacting with the bite. When we turn on contacts, we can see how much contact that the proposal has with our bite registration material. We can automatically refine the proposal to a specific amount of bite contact. By circling individual areas of the proposal, we are reducing a smaller amount of the surface area of the proposal. We can click Hide Model to hide the proximals and get a good look at the interproximal contacts. And here we can also refine the contacts. With one click of a button, we've reduced both sides of the proposal. Checking material thickness is important to ensure the quality of your restoration. The color legend on the side of the screen shows us how much material thickness we have. Once we are satisfied with our design, we can click on the Mill tab. This shows us the sprue placement, which can be moved using the cursor along the circle or using the arrows to go to a specific point. Then we click Send to Mill and select Standard or Detailed. Our restoration is now on the milling center and ready to mill. 
This has been a quick end-to-end -end demonstration of the Design Center. Thank you for watching.